guys welcome back to sister no yes corner let's cook and let me teach you how to quickly bake your rice your jollof rice in the oven for your sunday dinner just got back from church i'm watching the rice I have to wash your rice i'm different using a different kind of rice which i'll explain later so you wash your rice thoroughly make sure that the water rinses clean that's what i'm doing right now my rice is washed that pan is ready that's what i'm gonna use so i throw the rice in the pan We add some water to it. Guys, it's good if you have uh, already prepped your stew, your tomato based sauce for the rice, for the jollof rice. I already have some, so that's why it was easy for me to just mix it together and bake my rice. Here is the stew. I want to warm it up in the microwave to wake it up. Mm -hmm. The stew, the tomato base, fresh tomato, uh, tomato paste, uh, onions, habanero pepper, bell pepper, some onion powder, some bouillon uh, seasoning powder, and the chicken broth. Everything is already in the stew so we just get the stew and we throw it in there so i have the rice and the water here is my stew with the chicken broth and everything throw it in the rice and stir it mix it up real good make sure they are well combined, the stew and the rice in the pan. Stir it, stir it until well combined. Check for more water. I see that I needed to add more water. Remember, the rice hasn't cooked at all. This is not parboiled rice that I parboiled. This is not cooked at all, so I added more water to make sure it will cook very well to softness stir it, stir it generously taste for salt I'm making sure to taste to make sure that uh, the taste I'm getting is the taste the jollof rice will take it needed more seasoning so I'm adding more no bouillon chicken flavored powder this one is onion powder let's add a generous amount remember this stew has uh, ginger and garlic habanero pepper uh, uh, bell pepper onions you know and and the tomato paste all fried in oil so everything is being combined here the stew and the rice it's like we got what we wanted and uh, rice now the water is to the level that it will cook the rice properly. Let me taste again. Perfect. Guys, let's take it to the oven. Gonna cover it up. We have all foil paper. Let 
On va sceller toile. And take it to the oven. And forget it for some one hour, for an hour at least. You come back and check it. So let it keep cooking. We'll be back. We'll be back. Oh yes, we'll be back. I've been vibing, vibing. Okay guys, let's check back. It's been like an hour since I started cooking this. Here's my son in the background doing some swallowing. <laughs> he can't wait for the rice. So, hey, eat what is available. You could see soup and some swallow. Let's take the rice out. I think it is done. Done and dusted. Okay, turn my light off, my heat off, my stove off, whatever. Here is the rice. Here is the rice. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. You have to, you know, mix it together. So the ingredients are well distributed. The whole thing is well combined. Um, I'm using a different kind of rice for this. I'm trying to taste it and see which one is better. They say basmati rice is better for starch. You know? Trying to get away from all this carbohydrate. I don't know if it makes any difference. That's what I was told. So I'm using basmati rice. You see how it is? That's basmati. Awesome. We got it. It's young malicious. I always say bake your rice. You know, just put it in the oven and forget it. Not to do nothing else. So this is done. Guys, thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video. Peace.